In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. A warm welcome to uh, St. Lawrence's on this Feast of the Annunciation. When you remember uh, the angel Gabriel coming to Mary um, and proclaiming to her that she would conceive within herself uh, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And Mary's response, let it be to me according to your word. It's a reminder to us to be uh, watchful, to be ready for God to come to us and ask to be born in us and in our lives. And so an important day um, this year uh, during Lent to remind us of our primary vocation as disciples of Christ. The grace of God has dawned upon the world through our Saviour Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself for us to purify a people as his own. Let us then confess our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, who loved the, the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. We come before God in prayer and praise, and in the quiet we wait on God's Holy Spirit. We beseech you, O Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion, we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol, or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son, and you shall name him Emmanuel. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, we have come to do your will, O God. We have come to do your will, O God. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. How great your designs for us. There is none that could be compared with you. We have come to do your will, O God. If I were to proclaim them and tell of them, they would be more than I am able to express. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but my ears you have opened. We have come to do your will, O God. And offering and sacrifice for sin you have not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me that I should do your will, O my God. I delight to do it. Your law is within my heart. We have come to do your will, O God. I have declared your righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips. And that, O Lord, you know. We have come to do your will, O God. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the six months for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I'm using a sleep app to monitor my sleep patterns at the moment. And the app uses sound to detect movements to work out how deep my sleep is from the amount I move around in bed. 
When I woke up this morning, I was surprised at um, the recordings. There are a series of recordings on the sleep uh, monitor uh, of the sounds which happen uh, during the night, whether that's of, of snoring or sleep talking or other things. So this morning, it was a surprise to wake up and see that there had been uh, talking through the night. Usually, it's only when I'm awake in the middle of the night and end up listening to the radio or a podcast that talking is recorded on my sleep app. So I was curious to know what this talking was and pressed play. And what did I hear but birdsong um, from early in the morning? And with that uh, birdsong, I was transported back to this time last year and to the lockdown and the birdsong that was dominant then. The roads were quiet and nature seemed large and loud, um, almost as if nature was enjoying a recovery or resurgence as life went quiet with the beginning of lockdown. We became sensitive to different patterns happening around us that we hadn't noticed for a while. On this Feast of the Annunciation, we remember Gabriel going to Mary to announce that she would bear Jesus. And we recall Mary's yes, yes, let it be to me according to your word. If we attend to this moment, there's a twofold miracle. One is Mary being attentive to and responding to the divine will. The other is God achieving the miraculous as God enters into human experience by conception. But it poses a question for us. How do we quiet our own lives to hear the bird song of God's call to us? We can start by remembering Mary at the Annunciation. Her life was not quiet or simple or easy. She was a girl in puberty. She was betrothed to be married to Joseph. She may or may not have been worldly wise, but she was ready to come aside and listen when she was called to do so. So I suggest it's as simple as asking, asking God, how do you want to be born in us today? How does God want to make himself present in us? And by being present in us, then present in the world. For Mary, as for us, responding to that call Responding to God's desire to be born in us is a path of sacrifice and a path of joy. So I ask you to take a moment to notice how God has been talking to you. Have you been sensitive to God's pattern in your life underneath all the noise? Or perhaps like me this morning, you've been sleeping through it or tuned out. Mary reminds us this day that God wants to be born in each of us. And so she provides an inspiration for us today to stop, to listen for the voice of God and to ask his will so that we may also say, let it be to me according to your word. On this day, the Father made our salvation known to Mary by the message of an angel and so filled with confidence, let us pray. 
you chose the Virgin Mary to be the mother of your son. Have mercy on all who wait for your redemption. We pray for your church in places where it is persecuted and places where it is rich. Help us to listen to your voice and to respond. Through your angel Gabriel, you brought a message of peace and joy to Mary. Give to the world the joy and peace of salvation. We pray for those in situations of conflict and violence. And we pray for all in normal busyness in life, which stops them from listening, attending, responding to that message of peace. By the consent of your handmaid and the power of the Holy Spirit, your word came to dwell among us. Open our hearts to receive Christ as Mary the Virgin received him. We pray for this congregation, for those listening and watching this service online, for those at work or at school or with other commitments. Help us to be ready to turn aside and hear your word to us. You look with compassion on the lowly and fill the hungry with good things. Encourage the downhearted. Help all those in need and comfort those near to death. We pray for all we know who are unwell at this time. We pray for those who are lonely. And we pray for those who, are, who have little for themselves. To you, O oh God, nothing is impossible, and you alone do marvellous things. Save us and bring us on the last day with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Lawrence, and all the saints into your glorious kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, O God, that by the riches of your grace, we may grow up into him who unites our life with yours, even he who is the firstborn of all creation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we come to the peace. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring on high shall break upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
mystery of this water and wine as you enter down to our humanity. May we share in your divinity through Christ our Lord. Almighty God, so fill us with your grace that we may accept your holy will, and with the Virgin Mary, full of grace, rejoice in your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always where to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. We give you thanks and praise with the, with, that the Virgin Mary heard with the message of the angel and by the power of your Holy Spirit, conceived and bore the word made flesh. From the warmth of her womb to the stillness of the grave, he shared our life in human form. In him new light has dawned upon the world, and you have become one with us, that we might become one with you in your glorious kingdom. to sing a new song of praise. We too join with angels and archangels as they proclaim your glory without end. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, this is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of our salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. 
Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Lawrence and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, we have courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. The body of Christ. the blood of Christ. God Most High, whose handmaid bore the word made flesh. We thank you that in this sacrament of our redemption, you visit us with your Holy Spirit and overshadow us by your power. Strengthen us to walk with Mary the joyful path of obedience and to bring forth the fruits of holiness through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Christ, the Son of God, born of Mary, fill you with his grace and trust you with his promises, to trust his promises and obey his will, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.